Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome to Java Programming Tutorials. In this module, we will learn how to install JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. And also how to install Eclipse IDE, which we use for typing code. So in case if you already have JDK and if you already have Eclipse, you can move to the, you can go to the next uh, lecture. And not only Eclipse, you can also have uh, NetBeans IDE or IntelliJ IDE or any other IDE will also be fine. But the most widely used IDE for Java programming is Eclipse IDE. So let's get started and learn how to install JDK and how to install Eclipse IDE. Okay. The first thing that we have to do is I need to download JDK. So let me open my favorite browser, click on start and type um, Chrome. So I'm just opening Chrome browser and I will search for, normally I search, I always type it in notepad and then I copy and paste it. So I need to search for JDK download. And, and after this, I need Eclipse IDE. So first I'll copy this JDK download, right click on this copy and paste it in the search, enter. Now I will select the first one. You can notice here that uh, it's oracle.com. So uh, Java is from Oracle. Now click on this. Now directly it'll take me to Java standard edition downloads and you can see the version is 14. So at the time of creating this course, uh, the version of Java JDK is uh, 14. So when I scroll down a little bit, so I'll click on this JDK download. So here you can see uh, 14 version JDK download, click on this. Now, once you click on this, it'll take you to the page where you can download JDK. And when you scroll a little bit, you will see here for different operating systems, the respect to JDK. If I have Linux, I can go, I can click on this download. If I have uh, Mac OS, I can click on this. And my computer is Windows operating system. So I'm selecting this Windows 64 and I'm clicking on this. So in case if you want to download the zip file, you can download this. Or if you want to download exe file, you can download and install this. So I just click on this exe file and I just need to accept this. Click on download. Now, depending on your internet speed, it might take uh, uh, time to download. So you can see here at the bottom left hand side. So it's showing like the size is 162 MB and it's showing us 51 seconds remaining. So now um, almost my internet is okay. So you can see it's showing 30 seconds. Now you can see there it's showing like two seconds left and one second left and the download is almost done. So when download is done, Google Chrome will just blink that. So you can see here it's uh, just blinked and turned, the blue circle is gone. So now I can click on this and show in folder. It'll take me to the downloads folder. Now you can see here I have this uh, JDK downloaded and now I can right click on this run as administrator and it might ask you, do you want to make changes for the computer and click on yes. And in five to seven, 10 seconds, it'll open a small pop-up. So now you can see preparing to install and click on next. And I'm fine with this path, C programs, Java, JDK. I'm fine with this path and click on next. So, First 10, 15 seconds, it may not show the progress. And suddenly it will start the progress of the installation. So you can see here it's not started yet. So don't think that the system is struck or something. It will process, it will proceed. Now you can see here suddenly it uh, just started status and it is showing copying files. And almost there. So ideally it should take less than two minutes to complete JDK installation, unless if you have a two GB RAM or very small uh, low end computer. So, but ideally it, sh it should not take, uh, it should not take more than five minutes. So done. So you can see here, it just took around a minute for completing the installation. So you can see the message Java standard edition development kit 14, um, successfully installed. Now click on close. So I'm done with installing, J installing JDK. So how to verify if JDK is installed or not is right click on this, go to File Explorer, and um, or you can also type the shortcut uh, for File Explorer is Windows E. So hold Windows button and type E, Windows Explorer. And then it will open this. Go to C Drive, Program Files, and you will see a folder here called Java. So that means the Java is installed in your computer, JDK is installed. Inside this, you have the JDK version. So I have 14.0.1, so JDK is installed. Now let's go and install the second one that we have that we need. So Eclipse IDE download. So right click on this, 
copy and then go to the browser and again search in the search bar I just did control V for paste enter now I'm searching for Eclipse IDE download and IDE stands for integrated development environment so and click on this so you can see here the website is eclipse.org let me click on this now it'll take me to this website eclipse.org slash downloads and at the time of creating this course the version of the Eclipse IDE is Eclipse IDE 2020-06 so let me click on this download and by default it's taking to some um, uh, university information so let me select the nearest uh, mirror so you can select from different uh, so I'm doing it from uh, India so let me select it click on the select another mirror and I can select here depending on Japan or or whatever uh, country I want uh, I can select here so you can click on this so these are the servers that are available for downloading Eclipse IDE now I can select any one so here for me I think the nearest one will be so let me go back and select this so let me click on this so I'm selecting something from India here click on this now the download will start automatically so it will start the download in a while so you can see here the size of the file is 52.4 MB and it's showing like uh, 38 seconds left now you can see here the download is done Eclipse, inst Eclipse installer is downloaded now click on this show in folder now you can see here um, the download is just done and now what I have to do is I, I just need to right click on this run as administrator now it asks me do you want to allow this app to make changes to the device click on yes and in 5 to 10 seconds it'll open a small pop-up now it's still the pop-up is not open yeah now you can see here just open pop-up here Eclipse installer now the installation will start in a while this pop-up will stay for 15 to 20 seconds and now I got one more pop-up so from here I need to select enterprise ID for Java developers and and click on install so one thing to notice before you install this is my computer is having JDK 14 so it's automatically selected that from here so in case if you have multi multiple versions of JDK in your computer and you want to select the older version of JDK you can still select from this drop down since in my computer I just have JDK 14 I have this selected by default and now click on install now I click on this accept now and sometimes you might notice that the installation is taking longer than usual and that's okay so even then even if you see this message I, I normally um, install multiple times I notice that installation will complete in less than 10 minutes maximum again that depends on your internet speed now it showed a message like unsigned content accept so click on remember my choice and click on accept and I just need to accept the certificate as well click on this and uh, select all and uh, just always accept certificates and uh, click on accept selected so now the progress is a bit faster and I'm hoping it should be done in less than a minute okay so we're done with installation you can see here installation completed successfully and uh, for now I'm just closing it because we're going to see in the next uh, third lecture how to uh, work with Eclipse IDE for now I click on this close and uh, you're about to exit installation without having launched the installed product do you want to launch it now I don't want to launch it now so click on no and we are done with installing Eclipse IDE and you can see here the desktop icon is Eclipse and we are done with installing uh, JDK so I hope everyone are clear with installing Eclipse IDE and JDK so we'll meet in the next lecture and see how to create Hello World program in command prompt. Thank you and have a great day.